In this video, we're going to learn how to make histogram in Excel. If you have an Excel version of 2016 or above, watch this video. If you have an old version of Excel, you can continue watching this video. We have here one variable which is income for 20 individuals. Income here is a continuous variable and to create a histogram we need to first group the data in the form of intervals or classes. The first step is to sort the data from smallest to largest. Click sort and filter option on the top right and click sort smallest to largest. Now we need to determine the interval width for grouping into intervals. First, we write down the largest number in our data set, which is 85,250, and the smallest number in the data set, which is 6,513. Next, we determine the interval width with this formula equal to the largest minus smallest number divided by the number of desired intervals. So, equal to open bracket select the largest number minus select the smallest number close bracket divided by i'm going to give five here because i want five intervals of five bars in my histogram press enter the interval width is 15747.4 now let's create the bins first write the smallest number which is 6513 now we create the bins we need to add the previous number with 15747.4. So we're going to use this formula equal to click the previous cell plus 15747.4. Now you drag down the values till we get 85,250. Now that I've calculated the bins, I can proceed create the histogram, go to data, Click on data analysis. If the data analysis option is not available in your Excel, watch this video to add it. Now in the data analysis window, select histogram and click OK. Here in the histogram window, first we are going to input the range of our data set. So click on the cell input range and select all the values in our data set from 6513 to 85,250. Secondly, we're going to select the bin range. Click the cell bin range and select the bins that we calculated from 22,260.4 to 85,250. Thirdly, we select the output range for our grouped frequency distribution table and the histogram. So click on the output range cell and select the cell where you want the output to be. And finally, you need to check the option chart output at the last. Now that we've completed all the steps we need, click OK. You can see that the data has been grouped as per the bins calculated by us and there is also a histogram chart. Now we need to make some minor adjustments to this data. First of all, delete the cell more as there are zero values there. Next, we're going to rename the bins. So click on the first bin and insert the smallest number, which is 6513 to 22260.4. And in the second cell, we rename it as 22260.4 to 38007.8. We do the same for the third, fourth, and fifth bins. Now that we've renamed the bins, we can go ahead to customize our histogram. First, we customize the chart title and then we rename the axis titles. As you can see, the bars have gaps between them, whereas histograms do not have any gaps in their data. So we're going to remove the gaps from the bars. For that, double click the bars on the chart. The format data series window will appear on the right. Here, click on the series options, that is the third icon, 
and in that change the gap width to 0 percentage. This will remove all the gaps between the bars. Now we can change the color of the histogram by double clicking the bars and selecting the paint bucket icon under format data series. Here under fill, select solid fill and choose your preferred color. You can also insert a border by clicking on border and under border click on the solid line and choose a color. You can also change the width of the outline by adjusting the width here. Now we can add a few more chart elements. To do that, click on the plus icon on the top right corner of the chart and check data labels if you want them. You can also add the grid lines. You can also use the other options. This is how you make a histogram in Excel.